Hey everyone, this is my braces update video. I've had braces for almost six months now. I got braces like June 21st through the 26th. I don't remember exactly which day, but around that time. So it's almost, yeah, it's almost six months. So hopefully only one more year and a half to go. But it's still a long time. Anyway, this orthodontist appointment, a lot of things happen. Like usually when I go to orthodontist, I only get my wires changed or my bands, the, um, the colored things changed and anything else and maybe my coils get recut and refilled I don't know what exactly they're doing I'm just chilling but this time a lot of things happen for one they shaved my teeth I I didn't know that they do that I only thought they did that if like a uh, here like it's not even so they shave it they reshape it that's what I thought they did but apparently they shave your teeth too so they can be narrower so your teeth can fit better did not know that and from what I remember or what I imagined the cutter thing to be you know those pizza cutters the circle and the it looks like that I think I'm not sure but then they place it in between each of my teeth in the front the the first six in between those six or eight I don't know in the the front ones that you can see. They stuck it in between those to kind of shave off a little bit. So the two teeth right here, these two, the ones without brackets so they can push forward. Because right now this one, as you can see, is really far behind where my teeth are supposed to be. And this one is kind of pushed back too. So there wasn't any room for the teeth to move forward by itself because my teeth are huge and my jaw is small. So they had to shave in between. The one that I saw the most shaving activity in was here between these two but then after a few days like because I went to the orthodontist on Saturday it's Tuesday now it's pretty much like filled I, it's not completely filled I can filled I can still tell that there is a little slit but it's not a noticeable gap like no one would notice except for me probably because I just stare at my teeth sometimes but yeah that was that was an experience because I really don't like sharp things coming at me piercing scare the hell out of me needles like for shots are okay I just look away tattoos don't scare me but sh piercings go through the skin uh, I can't deal with piercings but um yeah I was so scared that the sharpener thing or not sharpener what is that shaver thing was gonna hit my gums and I was gonna like bleed out and I was like oh shit so the whole entire time I was like backing up but since you're laying on the bed thing you can't really back up and I was like shit or crap <laughs> but yeah after they shaved some of my teeth they took this like imagine those metal nail files but really really thin like a piece of a strip of sandpaper and they were filing down my teeth and this side went really smoothly until he got here and I don't know maybe the amount that he shaved off was not a lot or maybe he did he kind of messed up and then he forgot a piece but it was really rough when he was doing this side I started bleeding on this side, so, no, no, it didn't hurt, but I listened to the mirror later, and I was bleeding, and I was like, that's not cute, but, yeah, also, I got, I got these springs, um, you probably can't see the difference on camera, because I'm so far away, I wish I took pictures before, but I probably will now, because I got a new phone, anyway, um, before this, the covers for the exposed wires were, like, a slinky when it's compressed, all the coils are really close together, but now they're kind of more spread apart, so there's actually some bounce in there, and it's supposed to add pressure to the two teeth with brackets to push them out, so the teeth without brackets can move forward, so that's supposed to work with the whole shaving of my teeth thing yeah every every appointment now after this one they're gonna I think shave a little more I don't know if they'll shave every time but I know because she told me that um they're gonna cut bigger pieces of the spring so then it will add even more pressure and more pressure so my teeth will move and the, those other teeth can move forward yeah and yeah I also got New rubber bands, these are my old ones. As you can see, my old ones are Gorilla, and my new ones are Tortoise. And the difference between Gorilla and Tortoise is Gorilla is, if you can see that, it says medium. And the Tortoise, oh yeah, my hands are two different colors, I know. And the Tortoise is heavy. So these ones are obviously thicker, and holy crap, these hurt. <laughs> these ones hurt a lot too when I first wore them, the Gorilla ones. But the the pain was different. The pain for the gorilla was like your jaw was really sore, and then your teeth would be sore. But then after a while, it just went away. But the tortoise one, oh my god, 
Oh my goodness. Sorry. Oh my goodness. The tortoise ones? Okay. When I first got home, I wanted to be a badass and just wear them because I was like, it's not going to be that bad because I doubled up the gorilla the last week. I tried it out for a day because my friend did it. And that one, that one hurt. And I was like, the tortoise one can't be that bad. And it wasn't at first. I wore it for maybe two hours and I was just chilling in my room, studying, watching heroes. And then my mom came home, so I went downstairs to talk to her. And you know when you talk about her bands, you're like constantly opening the rubber bands more so there's more pressure it hurt so much so i took them off for the rest of the night and right before i went to bed i put on a new pair and it was okay because i don't talk to anybody at night when i'm about to go to sleep i just watch or movies or play tetris or study or something but the morning of the morning after oh my god <laughs> it hurt so much it wasn't just it wasn't just your jaw it was your teeth that it was pulling and it was the teeth around it. I don't know what the hell it's doing, but it's making it hurt everywhere. And it's probably the springs too, since they are adding pressure to move out my teeth. My whole like top row hell hurts. The bottom row is okay, but the top row, like I was eating dumplings when I came home from finals. Yeah, I finished school, but I was eating dumplings and <laughs> it hurts so much. And you know dumplings are not that hard, so I don't know. <sighs> But yeah, these tortoise ones are no joke. They play with you at first, they really do, but it hurts later, trust me. Unless you have a high pain tolerance, and I, I thought I did, but I guess not. Actually, I don't think I have pain tolerance at all. I'm, I'm like, you make? Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's about it. My next appointment is on January 26th, so expect another update. The end of January, if not for sure, the beginning of February. And yeah, I'm scheduled for a cleaning, but that's just dentist stuff. I don't think there's anything else to say. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!